Let's lift our voice this morning. Let's give God the praise. Let's give Jehovah God the praise that He deserves from us. Let's celebrate Jesus for what He has done and for what He has prepared to give to us. Somebody thank Him right now. Give the Lord the praise from your heart. Give Him the praise from the bottom of your heart. Let the praise of our God be in your mouth this morning. Thank you, Father, for what you have planned to do. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you have planned to give. Jesus, we thank you. Blessed be the name of God. Blessed be the name of God. Somebody bless him. Bless the Lord. Give that thanks to him. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. Lift your voice. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. To be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. To you praise. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. Lift your voice. And give that the Lord God of heaven the praise. Let's worship you over God. Thank you, Daddy, for your grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you are doing. Somebody thank him because he's doing great for you. Because he's doing great in your life. Celebrate him. Honor him right now. Jesus, we thank you. Holy Spirit of God, we honor you. We honor you, O God, for great thou art, great is thy name, O God. Celebrate him. Give that honor to him. Give that praise to the Lord. Jesus, you are so good. Worship him, Mukalabashin Tiribo. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Give praise to him. Give that honor to him. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of all my praise. You are worthy of my praise. Thank you, my Father. Oh, my Karabasinti Ribushintia. Lift your voice. Give that praise to him. Lift your voice. Worship the Lord. Lift your voice and bless the Lord. Bless him. Jesus, we thank you for what you are doing in my life. That's why you need to thank him. Say, Jesus, we appreciate you for what you are doing in my life. Jesus, I honor you for what you are doing in my life. Just celebrate him right now. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus right now. He deserve all glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Father. Wherever you are, lift a voice to God this morning. Wherever you are, lift a voice to God this morning. Lift a voice in praise to Him. Lift a voice in honor to the Lord. Lift a voice in honor to the King. Lift a voice in honor to the one that protects you. Lift your voice in honor to the one that is saving your life. Lift your voice to the one that is worthy of praise. Lift your voice to him that he deserved. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Let your hallelujah belongs to him. Your hallelujah belongs to him, belongs to Jehovah God. Your hallelujah belongs to the King of Kings. Your hallelujah belongs to the Lord of Lords. To omnipotent God. Your hallelujah belongs to Him. Somebody give it to Him right now. Somebody give that hallelujah to Him. Somebody give that hallelujah to the King. Give that hallelujah to the Lord. Jesus, we thank you. Glory be to your name. 
Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Just thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Oh, give Him praise. Give that praise to Him. As we worship Him, as we lift our voice before Him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My hallelujah belongs to you. Let's lift our voice. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs
Lift your voice and give the one that is worthy all praise. Wherever you are, lift your voice in praise to God Almighty for what he has done for you. Let your heart rejoice in him. In you, O oh God, I lift my voice to you. I want you to lift your voice and thank him for what you have done for me, for who you are. Hallelujah. I lift my voice to you, God, for the grace of your power in my life. Somebody celebrate Jesus right now. Thank him for what he has done for you and what he has prepared to do for you again. I know that he's going to do great things in your life this morning. I know that he will touch you at the point of your need this morning. I know that he will satisfy the expectations of your heart. I know that he's going to grant you the desires of your heart. I know that the Lord Jehovah God will give you a new story. Lift your voice and just begin to thank him. Let's celebrate Jesus in praise and in honor to him. Jesus, we thank you. Mighty God, we give that honor to you. Mighty God, we praise you. We praise you, God. Thank you, Father. We praise you, God. Lift your voice in praise to him. Lord, we thank you. Lord is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Rise up and pray the Lord. Lift your voice and worship him. Lord is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Let my soul rise up and pray the Lord. Let your soul rise up and lift your voice before God of heaven, before your maker this morning and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, my Redeemer. Thank you, Lord, for saving my life. Thank you, Lord, for being there for me. Thank you, Lord, for what you have prepared to give to me. Be that exalted, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Let us begin to ask him to forgive everything. Let's begin to ask the Lord to cleanse us from all iniquity, to wash us from all trespasses and transgression. Lift our voice and ask him, the Lord Jehovah God, to forgive us all our sin. As we have sinned against him, tell him to forgive us all our sin. My Father, in any areas of life that have sinned against your word, open your heart and pray. Ask him to forgive. Open your heart to God. Lord, forgive me all my sin. Somebody pray that the Lord God of heaven to forgive us all our sin, all our iniquity. Tell him to purify your heart. Tell him to come into your life. Tell him to come and create a new heart in you. Open your heart to God. Say, Lord, create a new heart in me. Create the heart of love. Create the heart of glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh, create the art of obedience in my heart. Ask the Lord to help you spiritual life. Ask him to help your spiritual life. As you walk, tell him to help you. You need the strength of him to journey through. Open your heart to God. We need the strength of him to journey through. Tell him, Lord, I need your help to walk according to your word. Father, I need your help to follow you to the end. Somebody pray. Teach me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, direct my path. Somebody pray, ask the Lord to lead you. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God. Ask the Lord to lead you. In the name of Jesus, lead me to your path, O oh God. Direct me as on today. Be the Lord of my heart. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's ask the Lord, Daddy, give me that spirit of obedience to your word. That is the key. The key to, to success or to great things in life is obedience to God's law. 
Everyone that experienced encounter God, they submit to his authority. They obey him. He told Abraham, move out of your father's house. Never hesitate. Hallelujah. Anyone you see in the scripture that walk with God, obey him. Obedience is the key to success in life. Now we pray. Father, give me that spirit of obedience to your word. I mean, give me that spirit to be submissive to your will. Letting all those breakthroughs, you're going to get it. When you obey the Lord, when God knows that, oh, he can commit things into your hand. When God look at us, that he can commit things into your heart. Let's ask for that spirit of obedience before the Lord to submit totally to his will. Total surrender in the name of Jesus. Pray the Lord God of heaven to give to us this morning. That spirit to obey. That spirit to honor. That spirit to submit to God's will in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth to pray. Daddy in the name of Jesus. Spirit to obey. Spirit to honor. Give it to me, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Tell the Lord, Daddy, I look unto you this morning. Send your help to me. Tell him, send your help to me. Carry me. Carry me, O oh God. Tell him to carry you. Open your heart to God. Tell the Lord, Lord, carry me. In the name of Jesus. Brian, lift the voice to God that the Lord God of heaven to begin to carry you. Say, carry me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, tell him to carry you. Lift me up, O oh God. Open your heart to God. Pray to Jehovah God. That the Lord God of heaven to carry you this morning. As you look unto him for help. As you look unto him for a divine touch. Tell him to carry you. Father, carry your people this morning. In the name of Jesus, carry them. Open your heart to God. The Lord God of heaven to carry you. To your place of glory. Father, carry them, O God, in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. Father, carry me in the name of Jesus. Ask him to carry you. Tell him you need his help. Father, I need help. This morning for victory, I need help in the name of Jesus to obey. I need help to follow. I need help. Tell him that you need that help, that Lord God of heaven to carry you in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Tell the Lord, Father, clothe me. Holy Spirit, clothe me. Bring my life out of nakedness. Ask the Lord to clothe you. Bring my life out of nakedness. There's a spiritual nakedness that strip man out of God's glory. You probably have a cloth on. Say, Pastor, I'm not naked. Truly, I know that. But there's a spiritual nakedness. Where in the spirit, the person is naked. Can you see a naked person and stay with that person? I mean, no one wants to associate with naked person. Walking naked. Lift your voice and talk Talk to God. The Lord, oh God of heaven, to clothe you. Bring me out of nakedness and clothe me. Open your heart to God. Bring my life out of nakedness. And clothe me. Open your heart to God. Ika Baba Santo Raba. Ask the Lord to bring your life out of nakedness and clothe you. Father, clothe me with glory. Clothe my life with favor. Clothe my life with blessing. Open your heart to God, the Lord God of heaven, to bring you out out of nakedness and clothe you. Somebody, can you lift your voice to pray? Malabako Shantere Bukaba. Holy Spirit of God, bring my life out of nakedness and clothe me. In the name of Jesus, bring me out out of nakedness, Father, and clothe my life. Open your heart to God. Bring me out out of nakedness and clothe me. Clothe me, O oh God. 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 Oh God. Open your heart to God. The Lord God of heaven to clothe you. In the name of Jesus. Clothe me, O God. Holy Spirit of God. Clothe me, O God. Holy Spirit of God. 
Clothe me, O God. Holy Spirit of God. Clothe me, O God. Holy Spirit of God. Clothe me, O God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray that God of heaven to clothe you. In the name of Jesus. You will clothe me. Daddy, you will clothe me. Daddy, you will clothe me. You will clothe me for glory. In the name of Jesus. You will clothe me. As I want to clothe you. Father, clothe me and clothe my children. In the name of Jesus. You clothe me for favor. In this year, in 2020, you will clothe me for glory. In the name of Jesus. You will clothe me for blessing. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Father, take away my disappointment and take away my shame. Open your mouth and pray. Lift your voice to the Lord God of heaven to take away your disappointment and take away your shame. Open your mouth to God. My Father and my God. Take away my disappointment. In the name of Jesus. Remove my shame. Open your mouth and pray. That spirit of disappointment. That place he can parusa te na to prando te yata the Lord to take away your disappointment. Holy Spirit, take it away and take away my shame. Open your heart to God. Take away my shame. Oh God, take away my shame. My Father, take away my shame. My Lord, take away my shame. Man, pray as the Lord to take away your shame today. My Father, take it away. My shame, take it away. My disappointment. Take it away. My failure. Take it away. Open your heart to God. The Lord God of heaven to take away your disappointment. Take away your shame today. In the name of Jesus. Remove me. Take away my disappointment. And take away my shame. Open your heart and pray. Take away that very reproach. Out of my life. Take it away. In Jesus name. We pray. Be a blessing this morning. By send this prayer to your friends and family. Hallelujah. Call somebody in. Hallelujah. Do it. Make it as a duty. God bless you. As you are doing it, God bless you. Hallelujah. As you are pressing it, God bless you. Hallelujah. Open your heart and pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, remove every garment of reproach from my life. Listen, I said there's a spiritual aspect of life where when God opens your eyes to see things that is going on, that spiritual aspect of life is one that determines your life. Enemy knows that. that they, that's why the enemies of your life is fighting you spiritually. Some people, they are not fighting you physically. It's a spiritual battle. So, And that spiritual aspect of your life is one that determines your life. Is the one that determines where you are going in life. Where you are going to be. That's why what you are doing is a spiritual aspect of your life. It makes no sense to some people that you are just talking, you are praying. They don't see someone beside you. Who are you talking to? But I'm talking to my God. But do you see that your God with physical eyes? No, I don't see him, but I believe in him. But that, that's what, and, and that very aspect of your life is the one that determines your life. If anyone is going for an interview this morning, the interview has been said to you in the spirit already. Oh, what you are just saying is just a show up there. What is going to happen has been determined in the spirit. I've seen several instances in life that show spiritual aspect determine our physical aspect. Hallelujah. That means the spiritual aspect of life, your life, determine your speak your physical aspect. That's why the Bible told Jesus, to those that worship me, you must come out your flesh and worship in the spirit. For such people, God is looking for. You can't get it when you base your life on the physical aspect of your life. That person cannot survive it. Some people, their dreams have been finished. Only what is going to happen is just to carry out. Only what they are, they are waiting for is just to carry out. In the midnight, they have determined what is going to happen to him. At midnight, they have determined what is going to happen, which is the spirit. In the dream, they have determined what they are going to do. That's why you yourself need to get into the spirit and not allow that you should be swallowed by your enemies. Lift your voice to God this morning. Let, let every garment of reproach 
that enemy have put upon my life. Let every garment of reproach over my life today be removed. Right now, open your heart to God. Somebody pray to God. Every garment of reproach. Now, in the name of Jesus, open your heart to God. Garment of reproach. Holy Spirit, remove it right now. Somebody pray. Garment of reproach over my life. In the name of Jesus. Burn pray. Garment of reproach over my children. Pray that garment of reproach removed. Every garment of reproach, every garment of delay, in the name of Jesus, over my life, open your heart to God. Meshando brandaya, matoto toto reperusate, ikaparu soto toli kaba. In Jesus' name, we pray. Look at it, Micah chapter two verse one says, "He say woe to them." This is Micah talking. He say woe to them that devise iniquity, at work evil upon their beds. In their bed, they devise iniquity. And in their bed, when the money is light, they practice it because it is in their power of their hand. It's a word to one that is determined they are on their bed, determine evil. See, that means in the spirit, you know, they determine what is going to happen about you. And in the money, they carry the assignment. Hallelujah. In the morning, they carry the assignment. In the morning, they, they carry the, 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 the people of the world of that walks in the midnight where people are sleeping. That's why when a man sleep, not only a physical sleep alone, also a spiritual sleep. You see, when the man sleep at sleep, the enemy came. He stood sleep, a spiritual sleep, and a physical sleep. Truly, when a man sleep physically, the enemy introduce bad things to life, to the person's life. Listen, hallelujah. He said, woe to them that devise iniquity and walk evil upon their heart, in their, in their bed. They are in their bed, but they are, you know, they are doing something. Say evil. And in the morning, they carry all sometimes what you see sometimes, it's just that thing has been finished already. I want to pray for somebody, and the Lord said, That person is a gunner. But the person is still there physically. The person is still lying there physically. And the Lord told me, This person is a gunner already. Huh? You see, the person is a gunner. It's finished. But he's lying there. Eh? It's been you no know, whack. Hallelujah. Today, every garment of reproach over your life. Do you know the physical flesh never determines who you are? Is your spirit? Is your spirit? Is your spirit? Is your spirit? Where well, all this one is just a place show off, but there's something inside of you under the back which that enemy is tackling with. Today, tell the Lord, remove garment of reproach for me. Let the yoke break this hour. Remove every garment of reproach from me. Let the yoke break this hour. Remove every garment of reproach from my life. Let the yoke break this hour. Can you lift your voice and begin to pray? In the name of Jesus. My Father, remove the garment of reproach from me today. Let that yoke break this hour. Open your heart to God. Lift your voice to God. In the name of Jesus, remove the garment of reproach from me. In the name of Jesus, let the yoke break this hour. Open your heart to God. My Father, you will remove the garment of reproach from my life. You will remove the garment of disappointment from my life. Let the yoke break this hour. Open your heart to God. In the name of Jesus, you will remove the garment of reproach from me. Let the yoke break this hour. Break. In the name of Jesus, break. In the name of yoke of failure, break. Yoke of disappointment, break. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. That yoke of barrenness, break. Yoke of delay, in the name of Jesus, break. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord, that yoke, Open your heart to God. Let that yoke break this morning. Can you lift your voice to God? The Lord God of heaven, to break that yoke. To break that yoke. To break that yoke. In the name of Jesus. Masanda, Masanda. Wa'ila, Tintalia. 
Shento prendetele. Li prendo toko paru sate. Le pranda teteli gabo. Open your heart to God. Break. 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 Na. Break. Na. Break. Na. Break. Na. Break. Na. Open your heart to God. That yoke in your life. That yoke of delay. In the name of Jesus. That yoke in your family. Open your mouth and pray. Jehovah God must break it from your life today. In the name of Jesus. The yoke of disappointment must break. The yoke of delay must break. Open your mouth to pray. The yoke of loneliness. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. If that yoke can break this money, you are free. And you are free indeed. If heaven can break that yoke, in the name of Jesus. The yoke of lack. The yoke of sickness. Break. Break. Now. Break. Now. Break. Now. In my life. Break in my life. Break in my life. Break in my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Tell the Lord. Say to him, Lord, every finished work of the devil over my life. As you are going to bring it to an end. Tell him this morning, every finished work of the devil, the one they have carried out already, the one they have complete, the one they have packaged up. Some people, they, are just, they, have, they have already finished their life. It's empty life. Yo, everything has been empty. No more glory anymore. The glory have parted. Echabod. The glory have parted. Hallelujah. Echabod. The glory have parted from that life of that person. The glory has been exchanged. Hallelujah. We see that in the scripture. Where glory has been exchanged. Where blessing has been exchanged. And remember what took place. Do you know for the for the sacrifice, for the blessing to be released. Remember, the blood was shed. So it's just ordinary. Blood was shed. Before both of them can receive the blessing from their father, blood was shed. The father said, go and kill for me what I love. And the guy also, the mother hear it. Ah, The blood, the sacrifice was shed. See, it's more than what we think. The spiritual aspect of life is bigger than many of us we just think. Praise the Lord. The spiritual aspect of life, I said earlier on, determines your life. If you are going for an interview, that is already being determined. You are just going there. Remember, Micah chapter 2. It is already determined. Today, whatever that has been finished over your life, whatever the enemy has concluded, Whatever the enemy have packaged off, every finished work of the evil one, ever must break it this morning. Say that, amen. Amen. Whatever thing they are doing in your life, they are doing over you today. In the name of Jesus, they are doing over your children. Today, that yoke will break. Say that, amen. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. Every finished work of the evil one, every finished work of the evil one, over my life, let the finished work of Calvary destroy it this morning. Remember, Christ also finished his own, where he shed the blood. For us, and he declared it is over. Every finished work over my life, over my children, every finished work of the evil one that makes a life of someone to be parabolity, that makes things difficult. Finished work of the evil one. In my family, the finished work of darkness over my life. In the Yaba, Unshate, Kundo Brando Totoli Kebom, open your heart to God. Finish work of the evil one. Destroy, 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 destroy. Open your heart to God. Somebody pray to Jesus that every finished work of the devil be destroyed. My life rise up. Finish work of the devil over my life in my body. In the name of Jesus, in my life, open your mouth and pray. Be destroyed. Every finished work over that business, that make that business to be crawling. In the name of Jesus, finish work of the devil. Father, destroy it right now. Open your mouth and pray. Let every finished work of the devil be destroyed. What the enemy have finished. In the name of Jesus, concerning my life, concerning my children, let it be destroyed. In Jesus' name, we pray.
Say, Lord, let the finished work of you, Jesus, give me victory this morning over the battle of life, over the shame of... Do you know that you are determining what is about to happen in your life, what you are doing this morning? I told you, I've shared with you. I want, I want to... I have a, I have a job uh, pr practical job practical aspect because you need to pass the practical when you don't pass the practical they will not give you the license to carry anything hallelujah so before i think the practical aspect of it you know has to be next week you know in my in my i can see in my dream in my like a vision i saw what is about to happen in that practical aspect i saw it as I will never forget this, as clear as anything, and I was something about next week, and I'm seeing I was inside the place, you know, you know, doing the particular aspect of it. Hallelujah, you know, and I see what ended it, <coughs> and I wake up. Even though I don't understand, you know, when that thing, when I'm looking at it, but I just say that ah, I'm in this where I'm going next week. I saw myself doing what I'm doing in my dream. You know, and doing it the same thing, and what happened? So when that very day, you know, you know that very day for me to do the, my the physical aspect of it, I was there. Exact thing. To my surprise, I have to talk. I, have, I said to that, that supervisor that was there that I saw this in my dream that it was just looking at me. That this is what ended everything. Hallelujah. What determine the spiritual aspect for some people probably don't understand. Ah, but later on, you no, know, it's more clear. That's why I said spiritual aspect of life determine where you are going, determine where you're going to get it or not. That has been settled for you today. Whatever that been settled, oh, and your answer to open your life that been complete, that been sealed. That contrary to progress, the Lord will break it. Say amen. Everyone will break it this morning. That's why you are here. To lift up, to come out of that struggle of life. To come out of that shame of life. Whatever the enemy have concluded. Whatever they have finished. Whatever they have, popped, that they have complete over your life. Today, that makes you to suffer. That makes you to remain in that position. Yikababo santoriaba. Shetenibo kontolia. Holy Spirit will break it. The Lord 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 will break it. In the name of Jesus. Then Kaparusa day. Everyone will break it. You are coming out. The Lord will break it. In the name of Jesus. Your life will come out out of failure. Your life will come out. In the name of whatever they have sealed over your life. Whatever they have sealed over your dreams. In the name that makes you to remain in one position, heaven will break it this morning. You are coming out in the name of Jesus, and your life is moving forward. You are coming out, and your life is going higher. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pray, let's talk to God. Let the finished work of Calvary. Remember, Christ also finished his own on the cross of Calvary. Said, it is over. It is over. What is over? He said it clearly. Failure is over. The work has been finished. The work of redemption has been finished. No more that you should hold captive anymore. No, no more that your life should remain. He said it is over. Now lift your voice and cry to God. Let the work, let the finished work of Jesus on the cross of Calvary destroy today this very sickness in my life. Let the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary destroy every generation battle for me. Let the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary destroy every agenda of evil, every assignment of the evil one. Incapable to steal, to destroy, to rob me of my portion. Now lift your voice to pray. My Lord and my Father, in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, let the finished work of you, O God, in the name of Jesus, on the cross of Calvary, what you have finished, destroy the evil one, 
destroy evil power over my life that is robbing me of my dreams, that is robbing me of my glory. The finished work of Jesus Christ, destroy, 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 failure from my life, failure from my own, failure for my children, failure. Open your heart and pray. Let the finished work of the Lord Jehovah go. Lipa Rusata, destroy in the name of Jesus. Every evil agenda, every evil agenda, every evil agenda, every evil agenda concerning your life, concerning your children, in the name of Jesus. Every assignment of the devil over your life to pull your life down, in the name of Jesus, to make you to be parability in wilderness of life, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. That lock your life in the forgotten place. In Nanamaro Sata, Rupa Tutele, let the work of Jesus Christ, the finished work of Him on the cross of Calvary, Ikapabro Sate, set my life free this morning. Open your mouth and pray. You can be free this morning. Ikapabro Sate, heaven can deliver you. Ikapa through the blood of Him. In the name of Jesus, the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, set my life free. Deliver me. Deliver me. In the name of Jesus, deliver your people right now, right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, right now, in Jesus' name, we pray. By you praying, you are setting things in place. You probably don't see it with the physical eyes, but you are setting things in place. For you lifting your voice this morning before the Lord, you are setting things in place. The Bible says no one received anything. I said that very thing being given to that person from above. Promotion of your life can never come to you. Except God promotes you. And can God promote you? Is when you call upon him. Because some other powers in your life don't want you to have success. Some other powers that's in our life don't want our life to move forward. There are many lives, there are many lives that enemy have locked down. Any dream that enemy, some dreams that enemy have finished. And some people they have emptied their glory. That yes, some people their life glory has been empty. They are just a shell, shelf, nothing in them anymore. No shell, they are just a shell. Everything has empty from their life. Hallelujah. Today, God of heaven will restore your own back to you. God of heaven will restore your glory back to you. All what that is yours will come to you. Remember, Balaam and, and, and Balak and Balaam came, help me to cause these people. Truly, how can somebody say, just say something to people and their life will begin to turn? Truly, you want to cause them. It's only God that changed it. It's only God can it's only God that changed it. The one that remember why God told Abraham that anyone that cause you shall be cause. What is a cause? Evil declaration. Hallelujah. What is a cause? Evil declaration. Say this person, you're not going to prosper. From the beginning, you look at it from Genesis, we can see that God in heaven said to Abraham, anyone that did he say anyone that beats you? Look at that, your scripture very well. Did he say to him, anyone that beats you, anyone that beat you, you shall be you shall be beaten? No. He said, anyone that curse you. An evil declaration comes from the lips. Come from the mouth. Say, this person, this was going to be about your life. This person is going to be about your life. When you go, nobody will help. When you stay, things will begin to turn around. And that thing, because where they are speaking to your spirit, the, that word they are declaring is connecting to your spirit that determines about your life. All what just, all what you are just going, you are just carrying out physically. Remember, Mike, Michael chapter two, they have determined, they have said to it, it's just to carry it out. People show up, say no, they go not, they will not give. You want to do this? They say no to you. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil declaration over my life. Ika that that Every evil declaration. Let the blood of Jesus cancel it this hour. Finish work of the devil 
over me today. Destroy him. Every finished work of the evil one over my life be destroyed. Can you lift your voice and pray? You must be free from that thing that turn, that, that turn your life upside down. Every evil work of the devil destroy in my family destroy over my life i want to come out to god in the name of jesus i want to count every spirit of frustration frustrating your dream frustrating your life every spirit of frustration in the name of jesus open your heart to god in the name of jesus be destroyed in the name of jesus spirit of frustration over my life be destroyed in the name of jesus destroy 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 Destroy. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible told us in Psalm 34, Psalm 134, it said, Behold, blessed are you the Lord, all ye servant. Bless the Lord, all ye servant. We stand in the house of the Lord. Who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. What you are doing this morning, you are lifting your hands before the Lord. He told us to lift our hands to him in the sanctuary, in the place of worship. Hallelujah. And bless the Lord. Is it the Lord that made heaven and earth? Bless thee out of Zion. Out of Zion today, let God bless you and break a yoke that is taking away blessing from you. That break the yoke that is taking away glory from your life. And break the yoke that is taking away favor from you today. Today, let God break that yoke. The Bible told us, his enemy will I clothe with shame. How can God clothe his enemy with shame? It's not a metaphor. Tell the Bible say, oh, that's not, that's not a physical thing. When God said, I'm going to clothe his enemy with shame. He's talking about spiritual aspect of life that is going to manifest. Can God put a cloth on somebody like that? No. Not, 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 that's not the physical aspect. He's talking about things that will happen to the other person in the spirit. He said, with his enemy, I clothe with shame. Open your mouth and pray. Clothe my enemy with shame. Clothe my enemy with shame. And when you are praying this kind of prayer, don't think of anyone. This prayer, you don't, you don't pray it and think, of, oh, there's one sister that is fighting me. Father, clothe that sister with shame. You are fighting a spiritual battle. Nobody in your heart. Just pray. Let God determine that. Daddy, clothe my enemy with shame. That means should give you victory over what is happening in your life. Those that have said they have sealed your life, say, no, you're not going to make it. Those that have determined their heart, say, no, you are not coming out. Clothe them with shame. Let my life be. When God clothes your enemy with shame, that means God position you. That thing they say you can't get anymore. That thing they say you can't be anymore. When God do it for life, if for you, he caparosa, your enemy will be put to shame. Where they have said, no, nothing good will come out of you. Daddy, clothe them with shame. Open your mouth and pray. Clothe them with shame. Open your heart to God. Clothe them with shame. Let every evil covenant break. I'm praying for somebody this morning. You are coming out of evil covenant over you. In the name of Jesus. You are coming out of evil covenant over you. Let God clothe your enemy with shame. In the name of Jesus, enemy of progress, enemy of success, open your mouth and pray. Father, clothe them with shame this morning. You are coming up, victory is yours. In the name of Jesus, your life is coming up. Let God clothe your enemy with shame. Father, clothe them with shame. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible says, there. I will make the honor of David to be bold and have ordained a lamp for my anointed. Hallelujah. 
God is saying, He says He's going to clothe the enemy with shame. But you, the omen of David, He says He's going to anoint it. He's going to make it better. Hallelujah. He's ordained lamp for His life. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Daddy, glorify my life. Beautify my life. Everything that I'm lack of today, Father, perfect it to God. And whatever thing that you are lack, when you look at your life, when you look at your surrounding, don't think everything that is missing, Holy Spirit completed. Whatever that is missing in your life, when you look at your life, this is missing. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and let heaven release. Whatever that been missing in your life, heaven give back this morning. Release back to your children. Whatever that is missing, open your mouth and pray. Let your life come out of shallow land. In the name of Jesus, out of wilderness life. Out of barren land. In the name of Jesus, let my life come out. Let my work come out. In the name of Jesus, every lock dream, release now. Every lock dream, open now. Open now. Open now. By the authority of the Lord, open now. In the name of Jesus, every lock dream, open now. By the power of God, open now. Open now. Open now. In Jesus' name, we pray. When your doors open, you will get to that place they will give to you. Things that, that you have been crying for will just come. Hallelujah. I pray for you this morning. Everyone, under the sound of my voice, today your locked dream that enemy have locked down, I command it to open now. When it open, where they don't want you before, they will just pick up a phone and call you. Hello, do you still need that thing? Hallelujah. Where they have denied you. They see that everywhere hope has lost. You just see that your, your stomach begin to shoot out. Not for evil, not for sickness. Because God has visited you. Men totoli poroso tolia. Li prendo totoli kelebo. Mato toto prendelia. I kateliada. Le sondo brade. I pray. See God and his power. In the name of Jesus. Every locked dream. In that open now. Whatever that is missing. In your life. In your home. Every release back to you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Your miracle. Receive it. Your glory. Receive it. Your blessing. Receive it. Your favor. Receive it. Your open heaven. Receive it. Now. 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 I. Madalia. Manduriada. Shandi Ribokupa. Len Sotoriabo. Let the yoke of that battle destroy. 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 Over your life. Whatever thing that you want to move that is not moving. Whatever thing that you want to change that is not changing. Today, every step in. Oh, Matanda Yaba. Long Sotoli Kapaya. Ropetu Tete. Ikateli Bakata. Whatever thing that you are looking for that you cannot find. Every find it for you today. In the name of Jesus. And of enemy depart from your life. God clothe you with glory. And of failure depart from your life. God clothe you with glory. In the name of Jesus. Shame depart from you. Glory manifest. Shame depart from your life. Glory manifest. Shame depart from you. In the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord is upon you. The glory of the Lord shall die is upon you. Favor of the Lord is upon you. It shall be well with you. You are moving forward. You are going higher. You are moving forward. You are going higher. Your battle has come to an end. Your failure has come to an end. The power of God is around you right now. Ila Baba Babo Sante. Rumpe Toto Tuntelia. Shando Brotelia. Kudanda Kusandelia. Koroba Tute. Setete Lirada. Today, your failure is over. Today, your battle is over. Today, your disappointment is over. Today, the hand of battle depart from you. And of failure, leave your life alone. In the name of Jesus. Ever we help you. Ever we help you. Ever we help you. Ever we help you. Help is coming for you. Help is coming for you. Help of the Lord is coming for you. Help of Jehovah God is coming for you. May you see it. May you know it. May you walk in it. This morning, you did not talk to ordinary man. I want to assure you are not talking to me. Neither I have nothing to do with this. You talk to God, the creator of heaven and earth. You are talking to your maker. The one that has everything in his hand. Today, may you see the glory of God in your life. Let what you have been crying for, 
Let what you have been seeking for this morning, let everyone say to it. May you see the power of God in your way. May you see the glory of God in your life. May you see the hand of Him in every area of your life. Oh, make a told you about Sander. I decree the battle is over. I decree the battle is over. Your shame has come to an end. See the power of God. That's what you are looking for. See the glory of God. That's what you are praying for. See the hand of God. Your life will never, your, your life cannot see it. And you remain in that place. Today, see that hand. See that power. Go in God's glory. And return back with a great testimony. It shall be well with you. The Lord said to this for you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Can I hear that? Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go in this God's glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Your joy will come. And the Lord will fulfill your joy for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Can anyone go have an appointment? The Lord God of heaven will go ahead of you. Any appointment ahead of your life. We settle that today. It shall be well. Any appointment, any appointment ahead of you, the Lord God of heaven will settle it. The glory of the Lord will manifest. The Lord will take over. We dispatch the angels of mercy to go ahead of you. In anama o sateligada, rupetolia, in any area that you are requesting for certain things, let them release to you. No more delay, no more deny. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. But let us put in mind that the prayer continues this evening. Remember this Monday, where we come together in English section, and you, it's going to be by 6. It's not 5, 6. 6 is still okay. Whether you are in London or anywhere, 6 in the evening, 6 this evening, in Yoruba section and English section, this is 6 in the evening, you know. Hallelujah. But I'm still planning to push it to 7. You know, that's what my... But I'm also I'm just bouncing around. <laughs> that seven is uh, your twelve midnight. Those, you know, what I'm doing is I said to you. Do let me explain again. Is I'm doing it because of those in uh, overseas where that time at, is at midnight. Some people, that nine o'clock where we have evening prayer here before that then is two two a.m. in the morning. And I realized also, you know, so I just want to and those here also that work so let's do it at meet at the crossroad so we can find a way of doing this so by god's grace uh by god's grace uh the lord god of heaven airport so see you by six in jesus name see you by six the lord you god we turn things around for your life the lord you god we go ahead of you in the name of jesus as we determine, heaven said to it today, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will send his angels to go and prepare a place for you. Go in that blessing. It shall be well with you. Thank you, everlasting Father. And your healing shall be permanent. I'm praying for you. And your healing shall be permanent in Jesus' name. So shall it be. Thank you, good God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And your people will always come to return back in a testimony everyone i pray this morning you always going to return with a great testimony thank you father in jesus name we pray amen 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 that water is covered by the blood of jesus christ let's share the grace together for the grace of jesus christ the love of god and his faithful holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and message shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can somebody give God the praise? Can you give God the praise? See you by 6, 6 p.m. Eastern time today in the evening in Yoruba section and English section together. God bless you. Bye-bye.